Hey guys, what is up? It's Dee Murph, and today I'm going to show you how to make a proper shot of espresso. So I made a video recently uh, about how to use the ECMP50 Mr. Coffee espresso machine and also how to make a drink. And in the comments I've received a lot of questions about how the espressos are pouring. Some people aren't getting the right um, consistency and what they want in their espresso. So I decided to make this video on how to tamp an espresso shot with a porta filter. Um, and the type of coffee you use and all of that so that you get the perfect shot of espresso and I also discovered some things and have some tips uh, This will be much more in-depth than that other video and that is at the end of this one um, So be sure to check that out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get our machine going So that it will be ready whenever it's time to tamp. Once this light goes steady you just press the um, Espresso button right there and that'll prepare everything. This right here is just regular coffee and, um, You can see it's pretty gritty then I have coffee I ground up with my um, Cuisinart grinder, which uh, this will be really interesting for this demo. This is ground up for espresso. And then I have some uh, espresso ground up from a very popular uh, coffee chain. You guys might have heard of them, Starbucks. And so we're gonna test each of these and show you how they pour. And I have good news. Uh, Mr. Coffee has made the machine, so one of these will work absolutely perfect. You'll get a 20 second pour, plenty of crema. It'll be a great shot of espresso. It's very easy, so check it out. First, we're going to start out with the regular coffee grind to show you what happens when you make an espresso shot that um, is too coarse, with the coffee that is too coarse. So for a double shot of espresso, you need two tablespoons, that's how much this is, so just one scoop. In my video, I use several scoops, and you'll see why in just a minute. So the ECMP50, it's a um, automatic pump machine. It doesn't, uh, you know, measure out the water or anything like that. So the grind you use is very important. And I have three different kinds right here for a little demo. Mr. Coffee was very nice to us, and you just push down, and then the porta filter will actually stop you. Um, and then that's a perfect tamp. A good shot of espresso takes about 20 seconds to make. So we are gonna go ahead, put this in there, pour a shot, I'll show you what happens. And this tamping process is the same for every single different kind of coffee. Um, so I won't show you guys that. Uh, we'll just cut right to the good stuff. You put it on, set your cup. So again, two tablespoons, and we're going for two ounces right there. That's a perfect um, double shot of espresso. All right, I push my button, everything's ready to go. And I have a timer here. So we'll see how long it takes for a coarse grind to pour a double shot. So you start your timer when it first starts to pour. So time-wise, not too bad. You can see it's coming out a little bit fast. We're almost to two ounces, and that's two ounces. So about 17 seconds for two ounces. Not too bad time-wise, like I said, but if you taste it, Oh, it's so bitter. You definitely don't want to use a coarse grind. Come out too fast, it'll be bitter. All right, next is the coffee ground from Cuisinart. And why I tamped it so much in my last video is I had to pack a ton in here to on the espresso grind to get it to 20 seconds. And um, this is just two tablespoons. So we're doing just two tablespoons tamp, just like the last one. Let's give it a try and see what happens. So the reason why we start the timer when on the second time after it goes burr and then stops and then goes again is because Mr. Coffee will put some water into the porta filter, but it doesn't start pouring the shot, just in case you're wondering why. So we'll do this again. This one definitely looks a little better in the coarse grind, but it's 10 seconds and we're almost done. 13. So right at about 18 seconds, this hit the mark. So again, pretty fast, we'll try a sip. Much better than the last one, still a little bitter. It pulled kind of fast. All right guys, time for the final one. This one was ground at Starbucks, it's very fine. Um, even thinner than the Cuisinart type. And I also found that Illy, um, they have a really nice espresso pre-ground as well. So we'll put that in there. Prepare it the exact same way as the other two shots. 
And here we go. So we'll let it run through that. Wait a minute. Or a second. Let me start. Now this one is coming out like almost perfectly time-wise. 10 seconds and one ounce. Moving on up. Almost there. And we have just hit two ounces. So 20 seconds exactly for the very finely ground Starbucks. I'll have a sip. And that is by far the best um, tasting espresso. A little tip, as you see that this little brown spot's going away, it's becoming very black. You want to pour your shot before it goes all the way black because as it becomes more and more black, the, the drink gets more bitter. So you're making a mixed drink. As soon as you get your shot, you want to pour it. And all three, it'll create a watery puck. Um, when you go and you tamp it really hard, usually one solid puck will come out. To get that perfect shot of espresso, it will be a little bit watery. Not a problem as long as you get the 20 seconds, the crema, and all that fabulousness and flavor. Well guys, there you have it. I hope that's helpful in seeing how to work the Mr. Coffee machine. What I've learned is Mr. Coffee really just likes the very finely ground espresso. Anything else and it's not going to work very well. What I do is I'll buy an espresso roast and then I take that into Starbucks and have them fine grind it for me. Um, like I said, Illy also has a nice um, pre-ground espresso that works well. Uh, but other than that, it's hard to get that perfect consistency to get a 20 second shot. And Mr. Coffee made the machine just for that. A double shot, 20 seconds. If you try a single shot, I did the exact same thing with the finely ground Starbucks and it took 10 seconds to pour a single shot where it should take 20. That's where you want to add more coffee to your, to your portafilter and tamp it even more and you can increase the time it takes to pull that shot. But for your perfect flavor, a double shot, perfectly fine ground uh, espresso, just like powder that sticks together and that'll give you 20 seconds. It'll be delicious. I hope this helps. Um, one comment I had was that this machine leaks. This has to be in or else it will leak. There's a, there's a drainage in the back. I'll show you right there and water comes out of that if this isn't in place. So just something to keep in mind and you will be able to make delicious coffee. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. If you liked it and it helped you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions comment down below and I'll do my best to answer those. And of course subscribe to this channel uh, for more coffee and also food videos. I like doing a whole lot of food videos and so I do have a little combo of coffee and food. All right, well, hey, I really appreciate you taking the time to check it out. I did this for you, and hopefully the tutorial will help you with pouring the perfect shot of espresso.